how to create a microservice or any software component in Backstage. Hello, my name is Stefan. I'm the product manager for Backstage. In this video, I'm going to show a very common use case for Backstage, and that is creating a new microservice. So everything is done through Backstage. I go here. This is how you create any kind of component in Backstage. And I click Create. What happens now is that I get a list of different templates that I can choose from. All of these are standardized templates within the Spotify ecosystem. Uh, in this example, I'm going to uh, pick a Spring Boot service template. So I'll click that, uh, give it a name, Stefan Demo. Description. I pick the owner of the service and where it should live in our GitHub Enterprise repository. So click the next fill in some deployment information, which project it should live in. And then I have a look at review this thing before I create it. Uh, and then I create, click create component. What happens now is three things. So first of all, the, a new project is getting created, a new repository in GitHub. Uh, there a new backend service, like a Hello World application, is, is created for me, based on the template that I selected. Secondly, the standardized way of doing documentation at Spotify is also configured in the repository. And thirdly, our CI is hooked up automatically. This means that our CI environment picks up the build and starts building automatically. So the backend service has been successfully created. From here, I can go and look in GitHub Enterprise to see the code that has been created for me. You can also see that there's a documentation folder. But more interestingly, I can go back and I can have a look at the service now registered inside Backstage. We can see the owners of the service. Uh, it's a team called Tools and the product manager, which happens to be me. From here, we can also see that CI has picked up our build and it has started to build. So that's it. Now I've created a standard compliant backend service and registered it into the Spotify service catalog. And I never had to leave backstage or even learn the ins and outs of setting up a Spring Boot application. Everything was integrated in the UX environment I was already familiar with. If I wanted to create another type of component, for example, a website, the procedure is the same. And once here again, I just scroll down to see what the different types of software components I can create. And in this example, I can have a standard based React JS web application. It's the same process for creating a data pipeline with BigQuery, a data science tool, an application feature in Swift, or even documentation. With all your infrastructure tooling integrated in Backstage, once you learn how to create one component, you already know how to create the others as well.